Hello and welcome to this e-learning module where we're going to be looking at neurodiversity and what that actually means. neurodiversity is a collective term meaning that all brains are valued and equal regardless of how they work and process information. Judy Singer first used the term neurodiversity in 1998 which means to include everybody neurodiverse and neurotypical thinkers. A neurotypical mind is one that functions exactly how society expects. Neurodiversity is a umbrella term which is used to encompass different variations and conditions such as autism, dyslexia, ADHD, dysgraphia, dyspraxia, plus many more. These include various intellectual abilities, learning styles, emotional regulation strategies and sensory deficits. Neurodiversity as a movement is gaining more popularity as more and more people are starting to accept that being neurodiverse does not mean that the individual's brain is of any less value and is broken or needing fixing. It's equally as important to society moving forward. Neurodiversity is a movement that is gaining popularity as more and more people come on board with the idea that neurodiverse ways of thinking are valid and offer equal importance to society moving forward. Some individuals with neurodiverse conditions state that it can be a strength and has really helped them, whereas others with more complex needs have stated that their neurodiverse conditions has left them isolated or really struggled in society that's not been built in a way to support those individuals to flourish. The term neurodiversity can often be confused as part of the autism spectrum or that it's a spectrum that somebody can be just placed upon, but it is not. Neurodiversity is a complete term in its own right. As we've already covered, the neurotypical brain tends to be one that's very traditional in its thinking and can be limited in some ways, whereas the neurodiverse brain is able to problem solve and look at things from various angles that can be just not available to the neurotypical brain. Neurodiverse individuals are often able to bring new perspectives to old problems and finding very creative solutions. Neurodiverse or neurodivergent individuals can have very spiky profiles, meaning that there are some areas that they will excel at and have strengths in, yet other areas where they find challenging and need more accommodations to be able to achieve their full potential. This can lead to inconsistencies across environments. For example, a dyslexic individual may well be able to stand up and give an amazing talk, really keeping the audience captivated, yet they may really struggle to put that same talk down in writing and portray the same content in its written form. An autistic individual may be very confident speaking just on one-on-one -on -one or speaking to a group about a subject which they know a lot about, yet could really struggle in a social situation where there's no structure to the conversations. So neurodiversity can be a huge competitive advantage, particularly when the individuals are supported and get to work towards their strengths. This allows them to not worry about the things that caused them issues in the first place, but are able to be the creative individuals that they are, solving problems and making a real difference in society. As diversity is a spectrum of strengths and challenges, this can mean that everybody is completely different and there won't be one solution that fits all. It's important that as a society and as businesses, we support individuals by removing the barriers that are preventing them from achieving their full potential. Now with neurodiverse conditions, it's quite common for individuals to have more than one condition, which means they will have varying challenges over varying situations. So it's really important that we listen and we understand what that individual really needs to be successful and do everything that we possibly can to enable them to flourish, to achieve their goals and live the fulfilled life that they deserve. It's really important that we're mindful that for a lot of neurodiverse individuals, they would have experienced a lot of trauma and stress 
whilst in the education system. This can follow us through into the adult learning environment, which can create problems when trying to learn new skills in new settings. So it's important that we at least acknowledge that some of our training could be trauma triggering for individuals. They may even cause them to have flashbacks to maybe a time where they felt humiliated or embarrassed within school. This is yet another barrier that an individual will have to overcome before they can learn new skills. In the following modules, you're going to learn a lot more about the neurodiverse conditions, the strengths of neurodiverse individuals, and what reasonable adjustments can be put in place to help those neurodivergent individuals to thrive within the workplace. I look forward to seeing you then.